Okay, welcome everybody. Right here, we're showing a demonstration where we're going to machine a bike component. This is a, uh, a crank arm and a crank shaft that we put on a bicycle. You put your pedals onto it, and uh, we're going to machine it, and we're going to friction stirl it together, and we're going to do this all on a, a Mazak VTC 300. Right now, we are machining um, this crank arm, which has been friction stir welded to the spider. And that crank arm is where we put the pedal. The spider is where we put the chain ring. And uh, this is kind of machining, doing a final pass to kind of clean it up. It's machining on the actual friction stir weld right now, when we've actually friction stir welded it to that spider. Now, when we do this, we're using a ball end mill, and we are machining out our crank arm. This is made from 7075 aluminum, which is an aerospace aluminum and considered not weldable. But with friction stir welding, because we don't melt anything, we can start to join materials that really could never be welded before. So this ball end mill is kind of sculpting out our crank arm, and uh, we're going to get it prepared to attach to the spider and friction stir weld it. So we're just kind of sculpting out this area of the crank arm. Now friction stir welding is interesting that we don't melt anything, so we can weld these things that just should not be able to be welded with typical arc welding processes. This is our spider. So we're preparing it here with a three-quarter flat end mill. We're going to switch to a half-inch end mill with a machine and pocket out our area that we're going to drop the crank arm in and get us ready to friction stir weld them together. So the, the Mazak system, we're able to grab different tools in our, in our uh, tool catalog there. In the, and one of those is going to be our end mill system. And then we're going to grab our friction stir welding intelligent tool holder. And it turns this machine from a, a typical milling machine into a friction stir welding system. Here we're just profiling out the spider that we're going to attach our chain ring onto and get it ready to drop in that crank arm and friction stir weld it together. This machine is great and then we can go up to a spindle speed of 15,000 RPM. And this VTC 300 will hold a 24 tool catalog. Now this is showing the friction stir welding system. It's, it's kind of dark and I apologize for that, but we are friction stir welding a shaft up through this spider and crank arm assembly. And we're welding the 7075 to titanium 64, which just like 7075 is considered not weldable, especially with these two bimetal welds. So we've just gone around that shaft area. This is a demonstration of the backside of the spider and crank arm assembly. We're opening up a pocket that our titanium 6.4 shaft is going to go into and get it ready to friction stir weld it from the other side. Here we're just opening up this hole for to, to drop in that, that shaft. Now this is the friction stirling process. So here we have our spider and crank arm assembly that's been put together. You can see the um, weld line or the, the joint interface line that this machine is going to, to follow. Um, the tool here is spinning at around 2,000 RPM, and we make enough heat that we soften the material but don't melt it, and we join it together. Now, you can see the wobbling here a little bit. That tool has a, a very long stick out, and we, we've done it to kind of clear some of the clamping mechanisms on this, but typically we want it shorter as possible so we get less walking or, or wobbling like you see here. There's a thermal couple 
that goes into this tool, and we're recording the tool temperature in real time, and we're also monitoring load, the downward force of this process in real time, and we're broadcasting it through a Bluetooth in our intelligent tool holder, as we can see here. So this tool holder, it broadcasts it to the Smooth G control, and here we control to a specific load and a specific temperature so that we get the same weld and weld property every time. And we take a lot of the guesswork and art out of the welding process. So it's a very simple process. We just plunged in, we're spinning, and we join these two together. And we program in the, uh, the joint line just like we would in a, a typical cam cam, uh, cat cam fashion. And this system also records all the data files for us to go back and analyze later and to inspect for well quality. All right, well, thank you for the opportunity to present to you guys today. If you have any questions at all, feel free to get in contact with myself or Mazak, and thank you.